so all right in this one we're going to be passing in some query parameters and url parameters into this um our index view before i've actually set up something like slash api i'm just going to remove this i'm going to also remove this so this is going to be our base url so in here i want to pass in something so for example i want to pass in like a username or something so in here in the urls.py i'm going to put a greater than or less than sign in there and in here i'm just going to say username and str so username is what we're going to be passing in okay and str means this is a string sorry i have to do this the other way so i'm going to do string username something like this when you do this you're going to put a forward slash at the end so remember we always have to put that forward slash so now we'll go back to the views and in order to actually use this username passed in the url we're going to have to create it here so we say user and by default django is going to handle all the heavy lifting for you so whatever the person passes in here is going to be passed in the views here as the username so to check that actually i'm just going to show hello world and in here i'm going to just pass in user name also i'm going to make this an f string so if i save that now i go back and run the server i'm going to open it up as you can see it says page not found but if i just do slash davis um, as you can see we have hello world david because it got this parameter here and it passed it into this message and also returned the message which is hello world and whatever is here you can put whatever you want in here as you can see hello world whatever that is so this is quite useful a lot of times we'll be using this in the future but for now just know that this is how to pass in simple url parameters so the next thing i want to show you is how to pass in query parameters so query parameters are embedded directly into the query so you can have like a question mark at the end here and say like um question mark let's say name equals to and here i can say davis so this kind of thing now is a query parameter that has been passed to this url so to get this query parameter it's actually going to be embedded in the get request so what we can do is go over here and over here this request that we're seeing and yes sorry i didn't tell you earlier this request here is the one that's going to be containing your cookies your um ip address and all that extra data i was talking about even your post data and your get data so over here i can just say request dot get dot get um and in here we're going to be passing in the parameter once again so we want to get the name parameter because that's what we give it in here since this is it i'm going to cut it i'm going to put it in here just beside this one and that hopefully i think that should work okay this will work because we're using an f string and double quotes so i'm going to change this to single quotes hopefully this will work now yeah there's not actually error any error but just have to restart the server fine so if i run this you get to see we have this long string and whatever name was passing if i change this name to anything else you get to see it's going to be passed in there so that is basically how to like get url parameters and query parameters so remember query parameters are given into the string like this and if you want to have more than one you're going to have something like an ampersand sign the name and equal to whatever you want to equal to so hopefully you get the point of url parameters these things will be very 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 useful later on so with all that said thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one